Hello everybody, this is Cabbage Games, and welcome back to Generation Zero. And today, we're going to kill the tank or dread class or whatever you want to call it. I just call it the big boy. And where did he move? You can hear him walk. <laughs> Basically, I have uh, developed a kind of a strategy right now. So, nearby where he always spawns is actually this... Oh my god, there he is. That thing is so gigantic. Anyways, I found a this spot. Three big rocks, some small rocks around it. And this big rock will protect me for life. Without this rock, I'm pro most probably going to die. Because I swap to fish in here. I cannot get a hit on him. It's kind of annoying. As you guys didn't know. Got a spot mechanic here for here is the scare class or like the dog bot. They're uh, pretty easy to deal with, but uh, they can either mount an hero so you scout class or uh, loud siren annoying little guy or whatever you want to call it. Anyways, those are the protectors of the big boy. We're gonna have to take those out first after we aggro the large guy. They will all come at me. So those are the ones that we have to take out first. So what do we have in terms of weapons? We got a Gunnard Kuvir M-49, which is basically a bazooka. We got a total of 7 rounds for it. And because of how easy it is to run out of ammo for these guns, I don't want to use it first. The first thing I'm actually going to use is going to be a slug shotgun. And I want to possibly switch to the buckshot afterwards and I got a SMG as a secondary uh, basically or second primary really to protect me anyways here he is right now 150 meters away I don't know what I gauge about 150 uh, like uh, 195 I mean I more want to gauge him at under 150 meters because that's where my rocket launchers really like the maximum effective range of that thing because of the arc. So this thing has undermounted weapons right there and it carries a midi gun and a rocket launcher. And it's time to aggro him. So if I can hit him, there we go. I entered combat. Right out the shotgun. Actually, I think we're gonna have to swap to the sniper. It's a bit more awkward. I need to get that rocket launcher first and foremost. How close is it currently getting? It's actually getting pretty damn close. Holy damn. Where are the little guys? This is the first time I like decided to not attack him with the rocket launcher first, so I'm not sure how that will affect things. I will have to fall back here, because otherwise his rockets will obliterate me. Holy shit, he's coming really close now. Holy shit. Oh, this is gonna make my heart race, man. It's two hits. Ooh. Third hit. That's what I wanna see. Fourth. Fifth hit. 
That's the highest amount of hits I got with this gun so far. On that beast. Shit. That was what I was talking about, guys. What? Ah! How did he die so quickly? I don't, I'm not even out of ammo. Where did I hit him in the last shot? I think I hit him on the top of the vehicle. I think I hit him up top because... There's no way that I kill him so easily. So even with the rocket launcher, the weak spots work on him, huh? Actually kind of interesting. The little guys are still around, so I do have to watch out. And let's grab my SMG just to protect myself if that happens. But basically up to up here, uh, that's cycle fishing. It's actually like a weak point, and there are some other weak points as well, basically around the edge of the armor. Huh. Guess we're gonna eliminate the other little guys. Now. Being of those things really like get me nervous because I don't know what they exactly do. Like they really seem to not do anything, but still got a feeling like they're suicide bots or something. Sneaky bastard. Should be more of them, right? Or not? Level up. Like they don't really drop anything, but Huh. Pretty interesting. You died so quickly. Guys, you have it there, guys. It wasn't just an epic of a battle as I thought it would. Because the last time I had, like, four shots total. And he went to, like, 30% of health. And then I had to actually, like, pick him off with normal weapons by actually shooting the rocket launcher. I would have gone and bombarded, like, 30 times. Those are actually, like, uh, viewable on the stream. If you guys are interested for those. Sadly, they he doesn't really drop anything. I don't think this thing's dropped. These are anything else, either. Nope, there are, you guys pushed them around I guess. Here you guys can get a look, good look on the, uh, yeah, I just want to make like a picture of this. It's like, this looks really cool. I don't have a tendency to make pictures on this game because just because everything looks so cool. Look at this gun, though. And compared to my machine, my submachine gun, that thing's caliber is like. Look at the caliber is like a similar diameter of this gun. Actually, no, this gun is slightly bigger. And oh, uh, it's glitching out a little bit. There we go. I got my one shot. <laughs> Still, like, the caliber is way bigger than your average gun. It would have saw it, like, even the silencer would fit in there. Look at how that's just gorgeously made. <laughs> then this, though. 
Can't really see it properly, but let's try to push it up a little bit. Wait, that's actually the front, huh? Let's push it a little bit more. Push it around, if possible. This one's a little bit more like unseeming. There's like 10 ports. But those shoot actually like. It's kind of weird to see like how those barrels are. It's like just the same size as these rockets. I never have seen that thing fire this gun before. All I have um, seen him fire the rocket launcher. But I'm just getting scared of what he can do with this gun. <laughs> It is, of course, like all textured here. This is like a normal belt, but the end up with are merely textures. It's still a really cool looking gun, though. Again, same with these barrel things. It looks like they're just textures, but. The bolts are real, though, I think. I'll just check. Yeah, the bolts do stick out, so those are actually on the model. Guess there you guys have it. The uh, killing of the big robot. It's getting easier over time, I feel like. It's still a little bit like a hazard because you're really dependent on how much hit you uh, get with the bazooka and where he actually ends up walking because right now he ended up getting pretty close. But it's still not like forcing me out in the open, so I still had cover. So that made it relatively easy. It's kind of cloudy, it seems like. The dynamic weather here is actually like, really cool. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, I guess. And uh, I'll catch you guys all later. See you guys.